Hi Libra, this is going to be your April 2020 bonus love reading. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and the North Node. We are going to see what's going on between you and your person in Celtic Cross mode, right? So we're going to grab you a Celtic Cross and then an Oracle card. All right, let's see here. What do I got for my Libra? Tired of waiting. Tired of waiting on this manifestation. There's a prayer you sent out and you may be blocked about it. You're considering juggling. It could be an Aries. Could be a Cancer. I'm seeing that there's some unstable energy going on at home. Maybe concerning you and someone you feel is your match. Could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Someone that was a spiritual choice. It's Virgo, isn't it? Like, I'm seeing heavy Virgo here. Okay, so, you're tired of waiting on this message. You have this inkling that they're juggling, or maybe you are trying to maintain some new kind of balance with your life. Uh, but you've, you, you have confidence in this manifestation, but for some reason it's blocked. We're going to clarify it, don't worry. In your recent past, someone's been piquing your interest again. Someone you thought you were over is piquing your interest again, and you don't know what to make of it yet. But you feel kind of, I don't know, it seems like you know, you're know you aware of one of your bad habits, but you're not really cutting it out, something like that, I'm getting. Uh, it's like you're ignoring the lesson of something, and it's kind of threatening your overall happiness. Okay, so... <clears throat> Your focus is in not extending yourself. You don't want to go here or there. Just trying to really get this balance. You're trying to get this balance, but I'm seeing that you got options, Libra. Okay. In your near future, it seems that you're going to be back to your normal self. Giving and sharing. Being even. Or you might be starting to... We'll, we'll clarify, but it could also be breadcrumbing somebody. But I think you're going to be generous about something. But you're going to keep it to yourself. You're going to keep your high vibration to yourself, it looks like. All right. You've been... Because this fire sign or whatever has got you really battered up and you got your walls up about it. Something that's making you overthink and you're really tired of that. You're really freaking tired of that. Um, I'm seeing what people are thinking about you that you're so in love. Oh, you found somebody. Oh, everyone's thinking, oh, you're Eve. You found your Adam. Something like that. Uh, the advice is to be patient. There may be your next stroke of luck hidden behind an inconvenience. Or just a situation that seems less obvious, right? And in your outcome, there may be something that angers you. Could be a water sign. Mainly Scorpio. Okay. Pretty big, right? Let's see what's really going on here. Clarify this cross, please. All right. Please, thank you. No, no, thank you. What is Libra waiting for? You're waiting for an earth sign, that Virgo maybe. You're waiting on that earth sign that you feel clingy about. Or you're waiting on some money that you feel is owed to you. Something that you feel is your property. <laughs> Clarify the two of pentacles. You're trying to handle this shakeup in your home environment. Ten of pentacles reverse. You're trying to handle the shakeup in your home environment. Maybe you moved out of somewhere. Yeah, it looks like you moved out of somewhere and you felt kind of embarrassed about it. Has you kind of feeling shitty. It has you feeling Queen of Pentacles reverse. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles reverse. Why is my why exactly is my Virgo feeling shitty? Okay, because you're being logical about you're being logical about matters that are unclear to you. So you're trying to take the initiative to go towards your happiness, but right now you don't have the answers and it's pissing you off. Clarify the sun in reverse. What is hidden from my Libra? Strength upright. Maybe someone is trying to maintain their distance from you. Like some kind, some Leo. Heavy Leo here. Okay, so someone very prideful. Maybe they feel like they don't need you anymore. But they, at one point, they made you feel like you're their soulmate. The star. Clarify that. That's another Virgo card, by the way. Yo, heavy Virgo, man. Who's this Virgo? <laughs> Page of Pentacles. Oh, they owe you an apology. But 
You're taking a rest. You're taking a nap. You're going to church. You're taking a nap. You don't care. Four cups. Who is this? Okay. This Virgo was like acting too slow or something. Why is this such a Virgo? I'm getting so much Virgo and Aries, man. Yeah, they were taking, they were acting so scared. They didn't do, they didn't do something. Clarify the six of pentacles. Is my Virgo breadcrumbing or being equal? Oh no, you're not breadcrumbing. You're just pissed about how stressed everyone else's bullshit has you. Something is really scaring you about the future. You're feeling anxious about it. Clarify the nine of swords. What can my Virgo do about that? I mean, my... <laughs> My Libra, what can my Libra do about that? The devil, reverse. Give up this Capricorn ass way of thinking. Maybe there's something about you that you're coming out of. It could be some kind of addiction. It could be some kind of obsession. Is it with the Virgo? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So, all right. Clarify the devil, reverse. What exactly is my Libra escaping? Two of Wands, reverse. Seven of Pentacles. You're tired of fighting between this, uh, this, this fire sign and this earth sign. You're tired of it. You're tired of choosing. It's like, you're anxious about this, but you guys keep having ego battles and then no one, uh, you guys just ignore each other till you cool off. What is the story I'm seeing? Cl clarify the nine of wands. You're in your head about it. Eight of swords, nine of swords. You're in your head about this fire sign or this Virgo. But you guys aren't messaging. Alright. Clarify the lovers. Why do people think you guys are a match made in heaven? Obviously losing sleep over this shit. Why the hell do people think you're a match made in heaven? Because you're honest. You guys don't hide anything from each other. You're working at it and you both believe it. When you get the lovers cards, like, you both believe in this connection. But that wasn't what people think about you slightly. Right? So, so they think that you're two very honest people or you're changed and people look at you guys as a good match. Maybe that's why you like it. Is that why they like it? Yes or no? Nope. Oh, this is your card. Yes. That is why you like it. You like the presence it gives you. Clarify the judgment. Remember, judgment is kind of like a maybe, right? You just don't want to freaking juggle anymore. You don't want to have to decide. You want this to be done. Like, you, you want... Clarify what my Libra needs to know about that. Six of Swords. Always put your mental space first. If someone's going to give you a hard time... Remember, your smile comes first. Maintain your peace, things will fall into place. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for my Libra. What do they need to know about that? There may be new love coming around. Love that you may not need to work on too much. Something in your near future. And you're gonna, it looks like you're gonna meet someone new. Oh, no, no, no. Is this Virgo getting into shape to talk to you? Or it could be, uh... Yeah, it could be also a Sagittarius, but I think it's that Virgo, man. Like, look how much of this Virgo, 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 Virgo. All right, now let's look into this obstacle. Why is the King of Cups reversed there for my Libra? Yeah, something. You're going to resolve some issue that made you feel left out of the cold regarding this Scorpio Cancer Pisces or this Taurus Virgo Capricorn. And it's something that for some reason, you're going to feel shortchanged about it. Okay, two more cards. Why is the King of Cups in reverse? Why is my Libra going to be angry? Or sad or whatever. This negative emotion. Okay, someone is refusing to meet you or meet you halfway. Someone is refusing to give you what you wanted out of the relationship. Or maybe they're withholding sex from you. Or it could be that there was a discussion, a fight about not having sex. Or it could be a, a fight about a fire sign. It could be a fight about someone being stood up. It could be a fight about just separating, man. It could be a fight about, no, look, I don't want this no more. Like, I'm hearing the words, I don't want this no more. It was on the bottom of the deck. King of Wands reverse. You had a fight with a fire sign, basically. You had a fight with a fire sign who wanted kids with you. All right, let's grab you an oracle card. Do something for someone. Give your attention to another. What the hell? Okay, it doesn't mean always in a romantic way, yeah? Just get your mind off of lust and be authentic. Be real and true to who you are and how you feel. 
That says a lot. Okay. Let's read you this one. 41, 5. Fives are change. Do something for someone. You always do that. Should I really read that? Yeah, sure. Why not? It's, it's your card, right? So let's just read it. Like, why want to read it? Because, like, you guys are, like, givers. So, like, what the hell, right? Give your attention to another. When you do something kind for someone, you create an opportunity for your relationship to be re-energized. How can you be considerate towards someone today? Insignificant things can have a big impact. Imagine how amazing your life will be when you are consistently doing kind and loving things for others. It's pretty dope. Do something for someone. It does not need to be someone you are close to or that you see every day. You might choose to do something for someone you don't even know. That feels better. Just choose someone and do something nice for them. There are so many ways to act with kindness. Open a door for someone who has their arms full. Greet everyone you see. Never underestimate the power of a smile or a positive attitude. Put extra change in a parking meter. It doesn't take much to change someone's day. Nature's child lovingly pets a rabbit while other animals gather around. Rabbits are a signifier of compassion. They remind you to look inside for the tools you already have. The deer is here to emphasize limitless kindness. Take a moment to consider how wonderful it is to give to, give to someone. Brightening someone's day is a wonderful experience. Where'd it go? All right, Libra. Love you.